Be honest to yourself, how long are you stuck in the same exact position? Probably it's been years and nothing has changed. I've literally worked with thousands of people and I've seen this so often. No matter what you try, nothing seems to work. But the real problem is you just don't know what to change. You're doing all these different things, nothing is working. All right, cool, we got it. Let's identify what your bottleneck currently is. And after working with so many dropshippers, I've identified that there's only 14 bottlenecks in total. There's nothing else which you could be doing wrong that is stopping you from success. And in this video, it's gonna be me listing all these issues. You have to try to identify which one out of these is the main one which stops you from success. If you already know about dropshipping for like six to 12 months, and probably most of you guys do, you should already be making over 10k profit a month you're not let's start with reason number one which might sound a little bit weird it's basically that you don't make any progress because you're giving up too late most people in the business niche always tell you never give up never give up never give up cool sounds great on paper what does it actually mean though who give up. I have seen so many people who use a terrible strategy, sell a terrible product and never give up on it. They keep poaching through garbage. They want to make a really bad product work by all costs. They bought inventory, they made a perfect store and it doesn't work on the test and they just keep testing and keep testing and keep testing on the same exact product. New videos, new creatives, more money, more on the same thing. When in reality, it might really be the case that your product just sucks or your strategy just sucks. So if you keep pushing a bad strategy, it's not gonna become good. It's just you wasting your fucking time. And look, I'm not even gonna blame you for this because it's very easy to pick a wrong strategy. There's so many bad ones out there. It's very easy to pick a bad product. There's literally thousands of horrible products out there which are portrayed to be amazing. If you find a product and you see, all right, this has proven concept, it worked for somebody else. This must be a winner, right? Well, no, just because somebody made it work, it doesn't mean that you're gonna make it work. It doesn't even mean that it is a winning product because sometimes you just find somebody who's a super advanced marketer, they have the most warmed up account ever, and they just test decent product on there, it works for them. It's not gonna work for you though. And when it comes to organic dropshipping, you have to keep in mind, there are 34 million TikToks posted every single day. The competition is high. It means that it's gonna definitely take some volume until you make it work. Don't get me wrong and just say, I posted a video, it didn't work, let me move on. Michael said, I have to give up quick on this. Now, what I'm saying, if your product is bad, no matter how good your videos are, you're not gonna make it work. So the unfortunate reality is if you're doing things by yourself and you don't have any guidance, you're not gonna be able to identify if your product is the issue or if your videos are the issue. I would love to just give you a simple solution. There's none. Okay, the only way to do this is having somebody who's looking over your shoulder, but I'm not even going to start talking about that right now. All of this leads me to the next issue, which most people have, which is confirmation bias. You have to keep in mind, product research is the most important part about dropshipping as a whole. So if you find a product which you absolutely love, it on paper seems like the perfect product. You would definitely buy it. It looks really cool. It looks super viral. Everything looks perfect about the product. You're going to start making shit up. You're gonna start projecting that to being perfect. You're gonna think, all right, I love this product. That's why this product is amazing. And then you're gonna tell yourself how good this product is because of all these different factors. And you showed this product to your cousin and she loves this product as well. And she's a girl and it's a girl product. So this is an amazing product. And you just start telling yourself, Bullshit. Stop doing that. Whenever you test a product, think the exact opposite. Think, why is this a bad product? I have to be convinced of you, product. I have to be told how amazing you are at everything you're doing to test this. The only way I can test this product is if it's perfect. So let's dig deep into this and see if this is actually good or bad. You have to try to find issues with the product. It's going to take 10 times more time until you find a good product. That's how it's supposed to be. You should not test the first product you just think is good. It's not how it works. You should be testing the last after you did all the research. For that, you just have to have criteria in place, which just prove that this product is perfect. So ask yourself, what makes product perfect? And find the top five or 10 things and basically look at a product through that filter. Ask yourself, okay, does it fit this criteria? This one, this one, this one? No, this one doesn't fit? All right, don't test it. So this is how we always do it. This is how you do it, should do it as well. And obviously what are the biggest mistakes you could be doing is judging by the wrong criteria. So for example, if you have five criteria in place and you find a product which fits all the five, but then the five criteria are garbage, 
it's not useful at all. And you're going to think, all right, I have a perfect product. Let me just keep going forever with this product because it's perfect. But it was trash because you had the wrong criteria in place. Unfortunately, I can't reveal my criteria right now in this video because that would literally saturate the entire market. And I can only reveal that to people in my program. So if you are interested in our one-on-one -on -one program, you can just click the link below this video. And we're just going to have a free consultation session where we see if everything is a good fit. The next mistake I see people constantly doing is they think they have enough time left in the day and they keep pushing off the actual real to do's to later and don't mix fake productivity with real productivity. All right. For example, you have 10 tasks. One of them is making a logo. And then another one is creating a really good video for your product. The logo one is going to feel very, very productive because you're going to be in there. You're going to create a logo. It's going to be very clear what to do. You're going to have 20 designs. You're going to pick the best one. Sounds very fun. It's useless though. All right. This is the same thing as watching Netflix. It's useless. It's just fun. All right. You can do that in your free time as much as you want. You can design as many logos as you want, but don't confuse that with productivity because it's not. It doesn't bring you closer to making money. Make sure you focus on things which do make you money. Product research, making good videos, and that is it. Those two things should be basically everything you should be doing when you're starting out, especially with organic. And even if you're doing paid ads, it's basically the two things you should be doing, making creatives and doing a lot of product research. That's it. And by the way, this is literally like 50% of our whole program. When you're in the program, the main thing is us diligently looking over your calendar. We're going to constantly look over your calendar and tell you, are you wasting your time? Are you being productive? Is this important? Is this unimportant? Should you be focusing on this or this? And it's just going to be narrowing things down until you have the perfect to-do lists every single day. And also we're going to take a look if you're actually doing enough, because I know for a fact, you, my friend right now are not doing enough. You're not working as much as you could be. However, if you would have me and my team every single day, look over your to do's, your calendar and all of that, you would be working properly. You would be going the extra mile just because you understand, fuck, there's going to be an entire team. We're going to look over my calendar on a daily basis. So I better perform. So this is one basic thing, which we just implement in your business. And instantly you're actually going to become productive. The next thing I want to talk about is in the long run, dropshipping is going to die. You're not going to be able to just create a business from nothing in the next 10 years. This is not going to happen. Something is going to happen. Either AI is going to fuck up everything or there's going to be fucking World War Three or whatever is going to happen. Something is going to prevent you 100% from doing dropshipping for the next 10 years. All right. At some point, it's going to be almost impossible to start a business from scratch. And even now, dropshipping is getting more competitive by the day, by the hour, because whatever you're doing, 100 extra people are going to start doing it. And most of them are going to quit. But some of them are actually going to do it better than you. And that amount of people who are going to do it better than you is exponentially growing every single day because there's more people who are crushing it every single day. You're competing exactly directly against those. So because dropshipping for a complete beginner is going to be impossible to do in a few years, start now. Start filming a video literally today. And every single day you're thinking about it, you're losing out on the opportunity to make dropshipping work. Next is you have to hit the fine line in between not reinventing the wheel and trying your own stuff, but also not copying everything to the team. It has to be somewhere in the middle where you definitely copy elements from other people's videos, from other things which work into your stuff, but it cannot be replicated one to one. Because when it comes to organic dropshipping, you're never going to make it in the long run with just copying other people's content. It just doesn't work that way. You always have to look at somebody's content and one up it, make it a little bit better or just go the extra mile in some regard to make it work. In our program, we literally give you a process on how to script perfect videos, how to come up with ideas and all of those things. And that's one of the biggest factors on why we have such a high success rate. It's literally because you can see video ideas from other people and make it better by yourself. This is how you should be doing. It. This is going to be a weird analogy, but this literally happened to me on YouTube on this channel where I posted an Andrew Tate video. It blew up. It has close to a million views on this YouTube channel. And then a bunch of people started to copy this video. Literally the same thumbnail, same hook, same everything. All of them combined had like 20,000 views, like 5,000 views here, 2,000 here, 3,000 here, and that's it. All of them made it worse than I did. However, if somebody would be out there who made it better than I did, he would get more views than I got. Why? Because the concept which I had was amazing. Andrew Tate's advice on dropshipping. Really, really good while he's blowing up. Perfect. But it was also executed really well. Other people 
didn't execute it well and that's why it didn't work. The same thing is going to happen with your organic business. If you copy somebody and it's not better, it's not going to do better than his. Even worse, if you do it exactly like him on the same level, it's not going to perform as well as his because it's not original content. The views are already given to him. The next one is more of a, a mindset thing. I'm going to tell you right now, when nothing works, when everything you try just fails, there's a crossroad. And that crossroad is you either quit and you basically stop because it's so stressful and you think nothing else is going to work or you double down and you actually go really, really hard until it works. When you're on this down point, you can get a lot of motivation from that if you're that type of guy. It gets you to making money. And at that point, you lose all of that motivation. You feel like everything is going to work. No matter what you do, it just works. It's going to give you this feeling of everything I'm going to do is going to work no matter what. For example, you have one winning product it works and then you expect the next product you're gonna test also to work so you don't even test it because you think all right if this one will die then I'm gonna test the next product and just find the next winner so it's all good but it doesn't work like that every time you make money you feel like you're almost gonna 10x everything like you made your first ten thousand dollars you now think all right the next few months I'm at 100k easy but that mindset is gonna stop you from getting to the 100k you would be at 100k if you would keep going exactly like you did from zero to 10k but because you feel less stressed out you're gonna chill it's gonna make it worse and everything is gonna start dying down we saw this so often honestly making 10k profit with dropshipping is not that hard what is hard is making 10k profit a month because after getting to the first month you're just gonna start chilling and it's a big issue which everybody has so what you need to do right now is promise me one thing keep this in mind when you're there I wish somebody told me this when I was there. First few months I made it work, everything crashed right away because it's 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 just such a different feeling. You think you deserve to chill. It was so difficult to even get here. So you think, all right, now I deserve a break and it's just garbage. So make sure you never do that. And this leads me to my next point, which is not capitalizing on success. For example, if you go viral, if you make a bunch of money with organic dropshipping, that's amazing, congrats. But you need to understand that all all the things you're doing are not optimized at all. Your store is not perfect. Your average order value is not there yet. Every single person who buys could be literally spending double the amount, but because you didn't optimize that, they don't. So what you now have to do is fix all the smaller issues. In the beginning, you don't have to worry about all that because you don't make money anyways. You need to focus on product research and going viral. After that worked, next step, make everything perfect. Start split testing everything you have to make sure that you are optimizing your funnel. Let me share my screen. I'm going to show you one example. This store we started two months ago. In the last 30 days, only the upsells of one single app made us an extra $26,000 in one single month. That's almost everything here is pure profit. The margins on upsells are so high. In this case, it's around $22,000 in pure profit, extra on top of everything we did already with the store just because we installed this one app. That's not bad at all. However, we wouldn't have made this extra money if we didn't optimize the thing properly. And keep in mind, this is literally just one new store we literally opened two months ago, which made so much extra money. If we change the time range on the last two months, it's extra $46,000. Keep in mind, this is almost $40,000 in pure profit because we have almost no product cost and any marketing cost on this. This is something which is very, very important. And by the way, the app, I'm not affiliated, but it's one click upsell. It's one of my favorite apps. It just works so, so well. Anyways, next issue a lot of people have is focus saying only on the money. If you only care about money, it's going to be so stressful because in the first few months, just don't be expecting to make any money. You need to find success in other things. For example, if you do organic dropshipping, if you go viral, huge success. If you get your first sale, huge success. If you just have posted a hundred videos in a month, huge success. Why? Because you're doing something. You're just moving forward. Let's say it takes you 300 videos to find your first winner. 300 100 videos were posted and from that winner you made a hundred thousand dollars as an example what you have to do right now is you take a hundred thousand dollars you divide it by 300 because that's the amount of videos you posted and that is how much you have made per video it is 333 dollars all right not bad at all per video because that usually takes like an hour to do however you don't see it that way you see it as I didn't make any money and this one video made me a hundred thousand dollars this is just not how it works how it really was is all 
all the lead up process counts into the money you made later on. Everything compounds as long as you don't quit. If you quit at 299, obviously every single video you did paid you zero dollars. However, if you keep going, all of these videos are going to pay you hundreds of dollars per video because that's how you should be counting. And listen, if I would look at your business, I would know exactly what your issue is. I could tell you right away, all right, this is what you're doing wrong. Just change this and you're going to start making money. I can identify that very fast. Everybody thinks they're special and they're a different case and there's something extra where that's why it doesn't work and that's not a common thing. But on average, you're average. From all the people who are watching this right now, most of you guys are just average and that's fine. There are some exceptions. However, you don't have to be an exception to make it work. If you are average and if you use our system, you will make money. You don't even have to be 150 IQ, super smart, the best per video producer. You don't have to have all that. We have a system which allows people to just find good products, make good videos, go viral, make money, convert, and then scale that using Facebook ads and all these things later on. After literally working with thousands of dropshippers, I know exactly what works and what doesn't. And we developed a system which simply works. So if you want to have a free consultation session with me or my team, we can look over your situation and tell you if you're on the right path or what your mistakes are. If you're interested in that and then working with us long-term in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, click the link below, sign up for a call, and we'll see if it's a good fit.